At your school last year, you had this thing called Sustainable September. Can you tell us a little bit about what that was and how it came to be? Sure. Um, one of our year five, six teachers um, was the driving force behind it. She had a real genuine interest in sustainability and that um, sort of filtered through the other classes. And um, she came up with the concept of really looking hard at how we use what waste we have and how we can and better manage that. And so the concept of Sustainable September came up, uh, which was implemented um, uh, through decisions, through staff meetings, etc. Once it was implemented, it um, it was so successful. So we advertised it in the newsletter, sent information home to parents, got parents on board, encouraging them to do so forth. And um, and the, the teachers were right on board with it, with reminding students about what that looks like and what their um, uh, lunch boxes might look like from oh, now on. Okay. And we removed all of the bins. So we applied for a grant, which was used as the impetus to get things more things happening. And the Environmental Forum became very active in waste management. So. Uh, as the leader involved in helping drive this, I was able to negotiate at a level um, that allowed for communication easily between the cleaners, our groundsmen, our out-of-school hours care and our kindy that's attached with the local fence, with a shared fence. So we all worked together and not everyone had access to the grant, but it, didn't, it ended up being that that wasn't the important thing. It was that we all wanted to do the same thing and have a shared voice. So we researched different um, options online and ended up ordering different waste management systems from Sydney. All of it got delivered and we were able to have a similar structure across the school. So the OSH has a waste bin system that they use, which is the same as the school does, and the Kindy has the same waste management system and access to the same bins we do. Um, we also talked to waste management companies and um, bartered and made sure that we knew what our um, refunds were and like the funding from debt, and also from what the companies could do for us. And we had a couple of them come in and speak to us and sell their products to us. In the end, we decided that we could get rid of a one general waste bin pickup completely, and then we used the money we saved on that to cover the extra cost of an extra green waste bin and a large paper cardboard recycling bin. So there's a way to go, but we now have four bins in our parking lot and we're also able to access a 10 cent recycling pickup system from the school. So no one had to go down and take all of the bins in the back of their car on a Friday after work. We get it picked up for free and we get the full amount back from our 10 cent cans. Um, so it's worth shopping around, mm -hmm. it really is. And we, we treat the school as a business in that regard mm -hmm. and we want to get value for money. We worked last year as well on um, bringing values into the school. We already have values, but formalising them and the whole community got involved with that. So it was respect, resilience, responsibility, and Persistence. resilience. Did I say? Persistence. Yes. Work, Persistence, they're, they're responsibility, respect, and resilience. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, und underpinning respect and responsibility includes the environment. So everything we look at, we're always thinking, how can we be more respectful of the environment? How can we take more responsibility of the environment? Then it's about yeah. promoting care for that for our local environment there too. And the kids have taken that up on board. So all these other opportunities have come mm. up. And the children are seeing the broader component of the environment, not just being a program where you don't have rubbish at school, but seeing that that impacts much broader, the yeah, the bigger mm. picture thing, yeah. which has been really fantastic. Mm. So our groundsman was using up to three, four, five hours a week going around and emptying the bins outside and they were metal bins attached to the ground and they also needed upkeep every year in painting and they weren't being used properly by the students and in rough weather things would blow in and blow out. So we decided to make that part of the grant as well. Uh, and also because they were attached to the wall they were kind of a risk over the holidays because things could get put in them and whatever. So we got them all taken out. There would have been over 20 of them at least. Um, they were taken to scrap metal recycling and then we replaced them with wheelie bins. Now because they were wheelie bins, students could be in charge of that. So we've saved our groundsman three, four, five hours a week which he can now better use his time and his skills for and students are getting more responsibility over waste management. Not all the time, they rotate through classes so they get the taste of this is what it's like in the real world to do a job that's important for the community. So one, one advantage that we have had that was again surprising is we had um, our amazing cleaners. We're spending hours a week 
emptying bins, relining bins, carting rubbish up to the up to the big bins. And this was going on all the time. It would start early afternoon and, and they'd be out with their trolleys and their rubbish bins. Once we, we changed what we were doing, they actually put that time into cleaning. So there were hours each week that were just spent on rubbish management that suddenly didn't exist anymore. And the management that could happen was something that the children could participate in. Mm -hmm. And so we've gone from having staff that, or, or um, cleaning staff who are just, you know, carting things from one end of the place to the other. Suddenly they, they don't have any of it, none at all. Yeah. So they walk in, they've got their small little mm -hmm. bins, the children take care of most of it, and they're actually cleaning. So mm -hmm. classrooms are getting all those things that, those they extra things are now mm -hmm. being done. Um, so it, there's been so many positive components mm -hmm. to it, and really the change has been so easy to do. It's mm -hmm. been ridiculous, ridiculously <laughs> easy to do, That's and awesome. the benefits have just been so far, um, far and wide that it, it's you wonder why you didn't mm -hmm. do it before. Most of us have these little bins now in our offices, so when I'm working late and the cleaners come through. They don't empty two bins anymore that was in my office when I arrived at the school. They have a look in this, which is quite often empty, um, and then leave the room again. So it's really good. So cleaners have had their time saved because no longer do they empty 30 big round bins across the school each week. And the liners, which they had to do every night as part of their contract, we took the bins away and we replaced them with small bins. And a lot of classes are going to try and go towards this bin. So they have their paper cardboard recycling bin, they have um, their grow bin, which is a green waste compost bin, and they have um, something for landfill. We have a number of forums. One of them is the environmental forum, uh, and she works with them on all sorts of things, one of them of which is waste management. Uh, and that's really good because it means those kids from across the school, I think the youngest would be year one, and the oldest would be in year seven, and they change yearly. So they're spreading the word and uh, take some responsibility too. Right. And each, stu each lot of students in charge for each wage manage waste management system takes responsibility. So the students that are in charge of the grow bins and emptying them every day after lunch, they'll report back to the class they're in charge of and let them know if something wrong has gone in their bin, yeah, that's really which is really good. good. One great thing is the, the amount of children that have been given extra leadership opportunities in our, particularly in the senior primary years, where they are in charge of various aspects of the sustainable program. And it's a really important thing for them to feel like they're, give, they're giving back to the, to the college in some capacity. And I think that's been a really positive thing too. Mm. So it's a really, um, there's been no negatives at all. Mm. It's all just been great. Because there was something already happening, it was good. Mm. Change takes time though. And, they, and people needed time. So we did things at a gradual process. We let the community know what was happening. We let teachers know what was happening and we had launch dates. So this is what's happening. Remember, this is what's happening. Yes, it's happening. We promoted it during um, our assemblies as well and talked a lot about that. And um, of course we had presentations yeah. as well from KSAP. So that was fantastic. I think for the most part, having the lack of rubbish bins has been a great promotional opportunity for us when we bring new families through the school, mm. being able to talk through what being a sustainable school means mm. and how we use our food scrap program with our um, composting into our garden that we use to grow that our children um, use the, the produce to either sell or to make soups or mm, yeah, you know, kids are saying. whatever they, they, they choose to make. So we know that kids that are learning at school were taking that learning home and their parents were then using the learning at home. So now we have parents coming up to us saying, I have to use my milk carton and all the lids and I have to put the plastics in there and I have to put the elf all together and I'm not allowed to wrap the kids' lunches anymore. Thanks for that. <laughs> um, but they do love it. <laughs> so it has worked really well and it's definitely that, communi that community learning from outside the school to school, through school and then to home and educating parents which is really good. One thing we looked at and worked towards last year from the beginning of the year to the end was decreasing the amount of newsletters and then going online. So over the course of the year we launched our school bag app and then we encouraged it and promoted it and then started dropping things out that were being printed and making them more about go online, check it out. And we encouraged a shared voice for, from all staff and students about promoting it at home and in the community. We're now over 800 downloads. 
and uh, even in into the point where now in our um, photocopying room we encourage particularly junior primary school um, teachers where they might use one side of a piece of paper to glue in onto a book or whatever for an assessment task they reuse paper that perhaps has only been used on one side they right. photocopy it so that we're Fantastic. always thinking about new ways of doing things yeah. um, and how we can be more sustainable. Mm -hmm.